what the narcissist doesn't want you to know. If you have been involved with a narcissist, you should already know that they don't want a relationship. They want you to attach to them, but they don't want to attach to you. They want it to be self-serving because they're only concerned about their own interests and needs. It's not about sharing anything with you. It's not about making you happy. Which is why victims of narcissists often end up depressed. They leave with a lot less than they came in with. While the narcissist leaves with a lot more than they originally had. Because all they do is take. They don't have anything to give to you. They get into these relationships to obtain attention and admiration. Or narcissistic supply. They don't really want a relationship. But they don't want to be alone. It may seem like they're not sociable. It may seem like they don't want the company of other people. But that's not the case. When they're out pursuing attention and admiration. Which is why narcissists actually don't like being alone. They just don't want to deal with the accountability of being with someone. They don't want to take responsibility for their actions. They're very lazy. They don't want to put in the effort to make something work. They want you to do everything. While they just put their feet up. While they're busy talking to other people, trying to find other sources of supply. Because they already know they're going to lose you at some point. They know they're not going to be able to keep you around. From the moment they first met you, they already knew that at some point the relationship is going to end. Because they already know they're no good for you. They serve no purpose. It's just a parasite. They habitually rely on you and exploit you. While giving you nothing in return. They're just leeching off you. They're trying to get something from you. Without working for it or doing anything to deserve it. They're removing all of your useful, valuable qualities and possessions. But you don't know that you're giving all of your time, energy and money to something that's eventually going to destroy you. You're feeding the beast. You're feeding the monster that is eventually going to consume you. But at the time you don't realise it. Which is why you invest so much of your time and effort into them. Because you don't know that you're not going to get a reward. They're not going to give you something in return for your services, efforts or achievements. Instead, they're just going to break you down. They're going to leave your life in shambles. They're going to use up all of your resources and then they're going to leave you in a state of confusion and disarray. Narcissists only take from the victims. They never give you anything in return. They steal. They deprive you of everything you have. And then they leave you without any support. Because no one understands what you're going through. They may wonder how you ended up with a narcissist. 
They don't see that the narcissist was impressive in the beginning. They brought a lot of energy. They gave you this false character. They acted like they were your soulmate. And you believed it. You thought it was real. You fantasized about it. You imagined a future with them. Because narcissists know how to manipulate your emotions. They know how to get inside your head. And make you think about an improbable outcome. Because they've been studying you. So they already know what you want to see. They already know what kinds of things you like. They already know what they need to do to lock you in. While you're left completely unaware of what they're trying to do. You're left in a state where you're unable to perceive the truth of the situation. So they have an advantage from the jump. They already know where they're taking you. They already know what's going to happen. The narcissist will sabotage the relationship because they're expecting something to go wrong. They've done this before. So they already know what's going to happen. They already know what you're going to do. They know it's inevitable. But they would rather end it on their terms. They want to make that decision. Because they want to be in a position of power. So if you're starting to gain an advantage. If you're starting to gain power and control. They will immediately try to sabotage it. They will try to prevent it from happening. They will cause disruption. So that they can keep you off balance. It leaves you in a state of confusion. It makes you wonder why they're doing this. But you may also start to blame yourself. You may try to fix it. But no matter what you do, nothing ever gets resolved. Because the narcissist already has the answers. They already have the solution. They know exactly what they need to do. But they want to keep you participating in the game. So that you keep holding on to something that isn't progressing, that isn't going anywhere. Because they know that since you've already invested so much, it's not going to be so easy for you to walk away. But while you're staying in it and trying to make things right, the narcissist is creating situations for it to go wrong. So the game is already rigged. It's not a game that you can win. But the narcissist loves it. Because then they can blame you for the relationship not working out. Even though they sabotaged it the entire time. They were the cause of it. But they managed to convince you that you were the problem. So that it then gives them the opportunity to come back at a later date. Because the narcissist never gave you a reason. They always leave matters unresolved. Like an unfinished sentence. Like a cliffhanger. They want you to work it out on your own. So that they can always have an excuse to return to you. The narcissist is a nuisance. They're very destructive. 
they attack you. But they never really do anything for you. They never contribute anything of value to your life. They're just taking value away. They know how to attract people. They know how to bring people into their lives. But they don't have anything to give back to the people they're feeding from. They habitually rely on you and exploit you without giving you anything back in return. They take everything you have and then they leave you emotionally dead. They suck the life out of you because you're never at rest. You're never at peace. You're always on edge with a narcissist, which affects your health because they're using you. They're sucking the life out of you. They're just no good for you because you're providing everything for them. You're doing everything for them. You're looking after them. And it's taken up all of your time and energy until it starts to affect your own life. But no matter what happens to you, there's really nothing you can tell them because they don't think they can do anything wrong. They're very arrogant. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They feel like you're less of them. They feel like they're better than you. Which is why they always have to be on top. They're always competing with you. They're always making comparisons because they're driven by their ego. They're driven by their false sense of importance. Which is why they're always trying to outdo you. They're always trying to be superior. Because just by you being you, they feel like you're bringing them down. They're very sore losers. They become very upset or angry when they lose. And when that happens, they will put forth the utmost amount of energy, effort, enthusiasm and resources into getting the result that they want. Even if they end up sabotaging themselves, even if they end up making their own lives difficult, they will do it if it means that they can affect you. They will blow themselves up just to get to you. They will do anything to be better than you. They will compete with you. And it will leave you wondering why. Because you thought you were on the same team. You thought you were acting together to coordinate your efforts and achieve something. So you couldn't understand why they were trying to compete with you and be better than you. But this should be your first warning of danger. It should tell you that they're not with you. They're not on your side. They're not on your team. They have their own agenda. They have their own underlying intentions and motives. They have their own goals and objectives. Which is opposite in the nature, direction and meaning of what might benefit you as a team. Which is why they're so oppositional. Which is why they're so contradictory. Which is why they're always clashing and conflicting. They're uncooperative. They're always inclined to go in the opposite direction. Because they're not really with you. They may sometimes do things that make you think you're working as a team. But secretly, 
They're in competition with you. Narcissists like to target people who are always going out and doing things. People who are very active. Because narcissists are very boring. They're not interesting or exciting. They're no fun. They generate excitement and entertainment in their imagination for the actions of other people because they don't have their own personality. So they need other people to make them feel alive, which is why they prefer to be around people who are already getting a lot of attention. People who are powerful and successful, celebrities or business owners. because then they feel like they can get a slice of the action and they need someone to validate the illusions of their false self. Without someone to validate their illusions, they would become very depressed. They may even end up drinking alcohol or taking drugs. But then they can break those habits immediately if they find a potent source of supply. Because they're addicted to people. And they would rather have a person than any other kind of drug. Because that's what really makes them feel alive. But once they've sucked the life out of you and used up all of your resources, They don't want you anymore. Even after all of the amazing things you did for them. Even after you helped them. They don't want anything to do with you now. Which is the most shocking and surprising part to the victims who go through this. This is the most difficult thing for victims to understand. They can't comprehend how they could do all of this stuff for the narcissist. And then they just get tossed aside like they're nothing. Like they never did anything for the narcissist. No matter what or how much you do for them. You will be the one who has to pay the price in the end. You will be left with the short end of the stick. Which is why the best thing you can do in this situation is just to leave at the earliest opportunity before you waste all of your time energy and money because the longer you remain in it the more difficult it's going to be to get out it's very important to go no contact It's very important to cut ties. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk.
Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.